Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Drinking Bros podcast, kids live in Iami. Uh, actually, not not in Miami, Fort Lauderdale, because the stadium is way, way, way the fuck on the other side of yeah. the city, over the bridge. Made that mistake of the national championship. Not going to make it again, but it is beautiful here. 15 minutes away from the stadium. We're breaking the simulation tonight. We are here for the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather fights. I never thought those words would escape my lips, but here we are. Yeah, well, here we are. There are a lot of big-ass boats here, too. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. No, that's, that's a, it's a brilliant observation. Yeah. Chuck Liddell is with us. Uh, Chuck, any shot that, that Logan knocks him out tonight? Um, none. Not a chance. I mean, everyone, I love it. Uh, people go, okay, he's got a puncher's chance. Okay. Uh, okay. Really? <laughs> First off, has he knocked anyone out? Like his brother has. Yeah. Has he? No, he is not. That, that, that doesn't necessarily translate into knockout power. I have, I have, a, brother, I have, I have a couple of brothers that both hit okay, but they don't hit like me. <laughs> um, um, and then the other thing is like, First up, you know how many really, really badass boxers have tried have to knock out Floyd Mayweather? Like, guys with badass punching power have tried to knock out Floyd Mayweather. Forty nine of them, and, and, could, and couldn't <laughs> land, could, couldn't land them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so a guy who's been training for a couple of years comes in and, and, and lands it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lands a point. And why? And, you know, it was always bigger. Like he's thirty pounds bigger. Okay, bigger, stronger, faster wins when all else is equal. Mm. Okay. And but you're talking about the it, best defensive yeah, boxer but, of all time. Yeah, and, and I mean, 30 extra pounds, 60 extra pounds, 100 extra pounds. If you can't touch a guy, right, you can't hit him. It's, it's not gonna make a difference. I mean, uh, Hoist Gracie beat Dan Severn, right? 100%. Right. I mean, yeah. and he was a monster. That guy's huge. Right. And 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 a stud wrestler. Yeah, he's one of the best we've ever seen. So. Anything can happen, but man, I can't. I just don't see it. I, like, I, I, I don't I, see I it. Think I if he, feels like Dumber and Dumber. Yeah. If so, he's, so, is it, so you're saying there's a chance. Yeah. Right. Uh, One a million? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I mean, I mean uh, Floyd could trip and fall. And yeah. I don't know. If he squared him up and hit him hard, he could, he could certainly, he could knock him out. Yes. The answer is yes uh, to that question. Well, but, I don't even know if the answer is yes to that question. I don't, well, we, I, that's I true. We haven't I seen it. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't seen him knock anybody that's out. That's true. I mean, his brother has knockout power. Jake has knockout power. Yeah, I for know sure. That. Yeah. I mean, if he can land one of those, maybe. That he's got a shot at. I mean, but your knockout power isn't all about your upper body. It's about the trunk, right? I mean, yeah, knockouts yeah, come sure, from but, the legs. So. But, but yeah, but, it, but like he's got that snap. Like some people just yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. have it. Some yep. people just don't. Yep. And so I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't know about Logan. I know I know Jake has it. Jake, for sure, Jake does. Yeah. guys out. Uh, if, if he could, if, if he got lucky enough to land one on Floyd, maybe and that would be but a much I, more, more interesting more, fight. More, I think uh, that, I think that'd be, that's a maybe. Yeah, but I don't. But on that same thing, I don't think he's gonna land one on, on Floyd. Floyd's too good. Yeah, I agree too with good. that. He's too too good at not getting hit. I didn't realize that Chad Ojo Cinco was fighting tonight on the undercard, and he's fighting a real boxer. Did so you know this? If, if there's, I, just, if, I found out the other day. If I, there's I, a I shot know. that somebody's gonna die in the ring tonight. <laughs> It is definitely him. He is actually fighting a real boxer. Yeah, but like, uh, what? What do you? When you say real boxer, is it a guy from like sixty years ago? No, it's a, it's a, it's a real guy, but he's like three and twenty two. But still, it is a real boxer against Chad Ochocinco. Right. Three and twenty two. So they they got him. Uh, they got him. Uh, a p- person to beat. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe right? that might not put that because yeah. I don't he's know. He's a real, bo- a real boxer against a, a football player who's been retired for. I don't know what kind of training four years into it either. Level though, like I, you know, it's like um, you know, the in, in uh, MMA we had um, Herschel Walker came out. Mm-hmm. Fought, you know, the funny thing is he he, he fought uh, a guy who used to train out of my gym was the first guy that he fought. Mm. I think I think it's for I might have been the first guy maybe the second first or second but he fought with he fought guy. for UFC he guy, specifically he just, he, but, but, no he didn't fight for UFC oh is this oh, okay shows. I see yeah but but he was fighting a guy that just got out of prison for like six years yeah like he hadn't he fought a guy that hadn't trained and he and he he was cool and a good guy and, and he was a <laughs> but you know he's a, he's a B, B, B level fighter MMA is a whole different ball game yeah, too yeah, like you talk about your origin story where you already had the wrestling and kickboxing down and you added the rest later you had yeah. two components out of the three already chad ochocinco doesn't have any of them technically no so but boxing is a different story boxing is just like i mean it's not well, just punching but it's you know but, 
you know, it's one of those things. I, I always say, give me an athlete, I can teach him to fight. Right. It's just how it's how much it's it's levels. You know, but sometimes there's levels of there's levels of skill and there's levels right. of you know and but like, coordination but, 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 and shit like that. I, I, so a guy that's three and twenty two. Mm. Uh, that, now, that, now you're looking at a guy that's been a, been a punching bag his whole life. Right. Yep. Yeah. He's, he's, like Cowboy he's, Cerrone he's, the last three years, basically. Well, no, no offense, wow. but he's been getting his fucking. Wow. Yeesh, that they, even got Giorgio back they've, they've been the throwing cow, there. They've just been throwing Cowboy into the ring uh, to get his brains beat oh. for the last two or three years now. I don't think I'm not. It's not his fucking I'll, fault. I'll, I'll take that. I'll take that as a little different, though. Like he, he fight. He's fighting top end competition. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm about- no, I'm not saying that Cowboy yeah. Cerrone sucks. I'm saying they've been throwing him to the wolves for the last three years, basically. Every single fight he goes up uh, against, it's like holy shit. Is he really fun? Because he's clearly on the down slope of his career. He's, he retired after the last one before this before he came back, right? So he knows it's time to move on, but he still keeps going out there. There's something to be said for that toughness. Right. Right. So this guy that's three and twenty two, you know he's at least a fucking he may not be a badass fighter, but he's a he's a tough guy, right? Right. So how what's what's that gonna look like when chat I don't know what if Ocho Cinco's ever been in a real fight before. You know? I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna that, I'm gonna I'm gonna thing. tell you this. I'm putting all of my money on this boxer on mybookie.com, promo code drinker bros mm-hmm. will double your deposit. I'm putting all of my money on the boxer to absolutely fucking destroy him in one round. Do you think this round. is real, though? Yeah, I always think, and I always think it's, and that's the one I, I worry about in some mm-hmm. of these things, is, 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 it, is it set up? Like, okay, you're right. not, don't knock him out, just go out there and move Yeah, yeah. Um, But, you know, but, but like, it's like... Because um, Ocho Cinco's I, I, rich, right? He doesn't need this. He's doing this yeah. for fun, probably. Yeah, that's, it's got to be for fun. It, it is, and, and that's what he said, but, you know... he owns a lot of other businesses and shit like guys, that. He's not one of those guys that waste guys, all his money. There's guys that come in and they want to do it as a, it's a, it's a challenge. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know, I was, I'm working with Diplo a little bit like uh, I was there was a sparring with the DJ yeah he was yeah, talking yeah. about doing you know fighting trailer and I'm like well why like still you know I just I need something you know focus on get, honestly, and he likes boxing he's been training that way for a long time and, and he's like you know what? I, I really want to get out there I want to try I want to give it a shot Okay, cool. You know, that's cool. I'm glad, you know, glad you go out there and have some fun. Right. Yeah, and Ocho Cinco said the same thing. He said, look, my kids enjoyed the the Paul Mm -hmm. brothers and their fights and all that stuff. And he goes, I wanted to be a part of history. And that was his exact words. His daughter just graduated high school, by the way. Yeah, and look, you can be a part of history, but you can also end up like Nate Robinson. And that's the wrong side of history to be on. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to be... You don't want to be a meme. You don't want to be Ben Askren, knee to the head, and then get knocked out by a YouTuber. You know what I mean? You yeah, like Chuck, like Chuck, you were never a meme. You don't want. You to didn't be have a, to. You didn't have to grow up during that. Like, yeah. you weren't in that meme era. Yeah. These no, guys, what, once what, it happens, they what's disappear. What's going on with your face over there? Am I am I being too uh, coarse today? Am I being too rough? <laughs> Georgia's got to pop in. Come on in. I got to get in here and say this. Like you, you're talking about a man who's a meme, who was also a four time NCAA finalist, Olympic Olympian, and a Hodge Trophy winner. He needs, like, he, like, he, he two needs time meme champion. Needs to stay away from striking. Yeah, yes. dude. Two, I'm not, two, two time meme champion. Stay away from striking. Leave it alone. You're not good at it. Think of the, the two biggest you're memes really in fighting. Bad. Think of the two biggest memes in fighting over the last wrestler, year. It's both hair wrestler. Yeah. Great fighter, yeah. um, as long as you can wrestle. It's like JFK Jr. <laughs> was really good at, at uh, photo shoots for magazines, not so great at flying airplanes, yes. for example. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. I mean, I'm not the one that did it. So yeah. That was, and, that and was that's, God. That's, God got yeah, him. you know. <laughs> well, look, Kobe didn't try to attempt to fly the plane, and that motherfucker had the biggest ego on the planet. Yeah. JFK Jr. was like, nah, we're good. What's the weather like? Zero visibility. Let's take off and go to Martha's yeah. Vineyard. Yeah, yeah, that was. I think it's weird, though, too, for these guys. Like, cause I'm, I'm I'm doing that celebrity boxing thing on um, uh, next weekend. Friday, yeah, right? Yeah. Friday, and, yes. and AC and, and Lamar Odom and uh, and Aaron, Aaron Carter, Carter, and both both of them will be on Icebreakers on your show. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be. And, and after talking to him, like, but you can tell, like, neither one of them has ever been in a fight. Right? No, like, no one ever been in a fight in a <clears throat> in a ring. And it, 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 I always say it's different walking out when you're walking out for a fight. It's gonna mm. be different when you gather. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes it affects people differently, like yeah. being out there. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's. It, I bet it's going to look like two baby deer. That it's going to be awkward the whole time. I. You know so I, mean? I looked at the odds. There's odds on my bookie already for yeah. Aaron Carter and like yeah, Lamar, yeah. Lamar Odom is 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 favored. Well, he's six foot ten or some shit, right? Right, but but you said Aaron Carter could hit. I think I'm going to take Aaron Carter and get some money off of that. How do you get inside on a guy that's that tall if well, he I, knows actually, what he's doing? You know, honestly, I, I, I used to spar with a guy who was 6'10 Shit. all the time. And, and so I, how, what's I, your I strategy? Lot of, I, 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 throw, I, throw a lot of, I throw a lot of overhands, actually. Mm-hmm. So my overhand right lands. It get, and they, th- they always think they can get further away from me than mm-hmm. they can. 
I have a little more length than I think I have. What's your reach? Well, 76, I, I was 74? Left, I was left listed at 76. 76, I'm right? I'm 79. Yeah. 79, 79, 79? Holy shit. Yeah, Can like, you scratch your knees without bending over? What the fuck? Almost. No, no, listen. John, my, my trainer, John Ackerman. <laughs> yeah. He used, yeah, yeah. To, he used to, he like, that was one of the things he did. Like, when they asked him for when Oh, he lied reach, about your reach? He lied about my reach. That's fucking funny. <laughs> and, dude, That's really go, funny. Go back and look at all, all my pre-fight um, yeah. uh, videos. Like, when the UFC come and do the pre-fight I'm going to look stuff. on fucking oh, look at the pre-fight stuff. 64 right inches. No, no, no. The, he, he would have me, he'd have me do everything for them. Southpaw. Mm. Really? Mitts. Sparring, bag work. I was southpaw. Whenever the UFC was filming at my gym, yes. I was a southpaw. Great. So, all right. I'm glad you brought because this he up because did, he didn't want he didn't want anyone to get any kind yeah, of scouting things out of it. Even, I, I, even, gonna, on, even on Wikipedia, it's 76 and a half is your reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I will, well, look, That's I'm glad you brought funny. this up. So, Jake Paul, or I'm sorry, Logan Paul released a video this morning of him training, getting ready for the fights. Obviously, his promotion for tonight. It didn't look like the typical training videos that I've seen him in. It looked jankier. Is that part of it where you're like, oh, shit. I, I'm, I mean, look, Mayweather's obviously going to see that Instagram video along with half the well, goddamn world John tonight. Said. He said, I saw something. I saw something. John said, I saw something in a in, in a pre-fight. When he, when, when, I forget which guy was fighting, but he saw mm -hmm. something in a pre-fight uh, video. Mm-hmm. That that gate helped me uh, mm. help me for that win that fight <clears throat> like help me help me him help me land a combination so a combination he saw something for, from watching him do his his training video that he's like oh hey work on it do this well that video yeah. Logan posted on Instagram yesterday he was mostly uh, doing uh, body drills with his left hand but some of the rights were wild and it it, it didn't look like him usually training and i thought to myself is that a plant video now that you're saying it it would no, make no sense these guys, no one these guys I'm, I'm sure it's a possibility they're yeah. very smart with their marketing mm. and and you know like the trolling and getting stuff out with the internet stuff. they're, so they're, that, they're that, masters that, of the craft that, so so i mean that would make sense that they're playing with playing with mm -hmm. someone's head on there how so are they at uh good. how are they at getting trolled I, not very good. I, I'm not, yeah, so you I, trolled him, and you called uh, Jake a clown out to the last one, and then he was pissed off about it. I, I mean, I don't, like, I, look, man, I, you, can't, you can't go back and forth. I mean, he's never going to fight me. They're not going to, I mean. I, no. It's not going to happen. But, <laughs> no. I mean, I, I mean, he he's, was, he's too, look, he's too <laughs> small for me. Yeah. Um, I hit too hard for him. Mm -hmm. um, and they're not going to take that risk. You guys are no, about the not, same size, though, right? Um, uh, you're, he's really. bigger than Jake, I mean, but you're, Logan, you're, Logan would be uh, around your you're, size. You're about, uh, you're about, about you're, you're the same. Got, I still got Logan by about thirty pounds. Yes, right. correct. What are you walking around at now? Two thirty. Two thirty, and you got a, you said you yeah, had eleven percent. If I thought I might be about probably about two twenty. Two twenty, and what is he two hundred five? Yeah, I mean he's, he's gonna cut. He's gonna cut to one ninety for this one, right? Yeah, so he had to. So the, the not not Logan. I'm talking about Jake. He's cutting to one ninety for the next fight. Uh, not sure, but in tonight's With fight, Tyron Logan Woodley. had to cut down to one ninety, or he got fined a hundred thousand dollars per pound. Per pounds. Yeah. He weighed in at one eighty nine and a half. Yes, Mayweather is at one fifty five. Wow! And then look, I mean that's Mayweather. Well, Logan I, that's will probably put on another fifteen pounds tonight. Yeah, a lot of, of people are. Yeah. A lot of people are asking. Uh, a lot of fans were asking if we thought that Mayweather would. You know, bulk up a little bit no he's gonna fight the way he that, fights that, no no yeah. I, I like, had the same thing like he's an endurance I, I, I guy did it one time when i was younger mm -hmm. i was kickboxing i was fighting a heavyweight and I, I, I stayed up about 225 instead of getting my normal like 217 right 218. were you just I gassed went, the whole time i was i felt like i was pushing my yeah. punches can't and do that bad. it doesn't the extra weight doesn't help you it's but, just how you walk around back to the jay paul that, like, like those guys that man I've, I've never talked disrespectfully about him like i, 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 they, people, I defend him on that it's not mm -hmm. a fixed fight with him knocking out mm -hmm. Askren. I mean, Ashton sucks, but I mean, yeah. he, can't, he, can't strike. <laughs> he can't, he can't strike it, but he, yeah, yeah. But he, he got knocked out. I, I was there. He I definitely was got there, knocked out. Yeah. He was out. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the ref saved him from getting a little mm. more of a beating. That's all. I mean, there was nothing else. I, I, I but, agree. But, 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 you I, know, agree. Like, I, I thought I was so crazy. My buddy coming to me and like, hey, his manager's like, hey, what's up with Chuck and Jake? Like, I'm like, there's. No, there's nothing up with us. I don't care. I actually, I think I like the kid. I don't dislike the kid. I don't. I mean, and I, th I thought he did a great job of fighting. I mean, I don't. And mm -hmm. I don't care. I'm, I'm happy for him. He's making money. And hey, go out there and if you can be anybody, you can beat beat him. I hope. Yeah. I mean, this. I'm. I'm actually kind of excited about this Woodley fight because this is going to be the first real test for this kid. And to be honest, if he does, whether he wins the fight or not, if he does well against Tyron Woodley, 
that is a big deal. Yeah, well, it, and he can well, start it, like it, actually. I, I agree. Yeah. They're, they're he can smart. actually start boxing I think, people. I think his guys are, are, are smart because now it's been a slow build. Picking, and a yeah. slow build, and now, now you're putting him against a guy that he's, he's a. I, I would say he's a mid rung striker in the UFC, but that's only because you have to worry about t- him taking you down. Right. If you don't have to worry about him taking you down, he drops down to like a lower right. level striker. So. So, but yeah, still so better than Ben Askren. Still, uh, I, like way yeah, better. Way better than ben as a striker. Yeah. 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 So this is more, but it's more, more legit fight. It's legit but this is how you do it. I mean, if he was, if if he was anybody yeah. else and starting off his career as a boxer, he wouldn't jump in the ring with Hall of Famers right, right. out of the gate, no, no, right? Yeah, no, and, he, and he's trying. What he's trying. He's, they're doing the best they can mm. to protect him on the way up. Like, I mean, and that's what you always want to do with your guys. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> yeah, you you, you want to protect him on the way up. And For sure. Yeah. You're gonna try to get him the best fight. You know the best fights out there for the money that he can, he can that he right. can win. I mean, it, it'll be interesting to see they, I, I, if he I mean, keeps they, fighting. See what they think because they think um, I, I think they think he can beat him. I agree. I well, think they, he can beat him too. Would, to be they honest, wouldn't have, they wouldn't have taken that. They wouldn't have taken it. They didn't think I don't, he could beat him. It's not the same tie with the strike force. He's no. certainly not. And I don't know if uh, I don't know if Jake's skill level is up there enough yet. But he's got the physical tools for sure. He's got this, as you call it, the snap, the knockout yeah, he's snap. Got, he's got like he's nice. got he's it. Got, so. He's got knockout power. I'm you going know, to go ahead and call it. All of my money again is on Jake in this fight. It is. Here's re- here's why. Woodley's lost the lot. He's lost the last four fights. He's 39 years old. He's still not a professional boxer. I realize Jake Paul. Jake Paul is is uh, only fought three people. But he's been training for, what, three years now just at boxing and boxing only. Age has something to do with it. I still have Jake Paul in this fight. Look, the odds are out. What's, um, what are the odds? Is the, it like, it's probably like plus 350? It's almost, it's almost even. It's almost even right now. Almost we're still, even. that fight is August 28th. Um, they haven't named a location, but it is almost even on mybookie.com for Jake Paul against Tyron Woodley. And, and I'm I'm here for it. I, like, I'm, I'm betting on Jake again. I think age has something to do with it. And I think just straight up boxing versus MMA is two different worlds. And uh, I, I'm, I'm there. The kid has got actual you. skills. I, it's, it's like it's like being a pitcher and you can only throw your fastball. You know what I mean? Yes. Like you can't. There's no off speed pitch. So you can only throw it. Not, not that you can't faint to throw jabs. Okay, but. I, I try, try to explain this to a lot of people like your stance changes. Mm-hmm. Your, your distance changes. Yep. Your timing changes. Everything changes when you go from boxing from boxing to kickboxing. Yeah, and then when you go from kickboxing to MMA, it's a whole other. Level. Then now you got to watch for shots. You know, other things you got to watch. Um, so it, it just everything changes. Like it, it's like this, everything's totally different. Like um, uh, there, there's guys that used to go back and forth between kickboxing and MMA. And I, I was impressed. Cause well, there's very few that are very, great at both. Few, they, yes. Yeah, but 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 and to go who's back who's and, actually been good at that. Going back and forth because because this would have been like back like K one back in the day right yeah because now kickbox is not that big a deal nobody would go over there and do it now yeah. so it'd probably be like the early two thousands maybe yeah um God I can't think of, I'm trying to think of the guy's name um, if you have to think of his name we're not gonna know who he is you know what I'm saying probably. like that but, but but that's 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 it if there's just one guy but that is really impressive but, but, but it was really <clears throat> it was always really hard to go back because because you have to change your timing for both right your stance and timing changes from or not stance can say almost the same. A little, a little more of a stand up. That, that's one of the things when, when we well, kickboxing, you don't have to worry about getting taken down, yeah, right? So you don't get taken down, so you no stand sprawl. more straight up. Yeah, there's no right? sprawl, yeah. Um, and, and the funny thing is, that's one of the things we had to, I had to learn early on when we were training mm. was to learn to, to, we always, we made it in our, our gym. Anytime we're sparring, you can take a guy down, you can shoot. Right, because, because because you have to be in a stance that you can you can defend a shot. Right, because if you even when you were doing kickboxing, yeah, when I do kickboxing, still do that? we kickboxing mm. training, we but we still you get, you do a takedown because just right. to keep me in the right stance. Does that hurt you though? Uh, as a if you're if you're doing just kickboxing, does it hurt you to be well, I lower? Never went, I, I never went back and forth. I see. I, I never went once. I, once I came over, I never had to go back. But you I, started like when you were young. You you were they, kickboxing. They, I finally I finally got offered being K one, and they're offering me they were offering me like fifty grand or sixty grand. I'm like. <laughs> And I'm like, but that was when was that? That was, that was back in uh, 2000, 2001 or two thousand. Oh, you were already in but UFC. I was, yeah, but I, was, yeah. I was in UFC, but I was I just started making that kind of money mm-hmm. in the UFC. But I'm like, why would I come over there to make the same money I'm making yeah. in the UFC? It's it's different. Yeah, there's no. Yeah, it, it is different. And speaking of being different, tonight is different because we're in an outdoor stadium in Miami in this heat. Yeah, will that have fun. anything to do with it? You, all of us went to dinner last night. I'm fucking sweating in this goddamn hotel room. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I hate the humidity for like just sitting around doing stuff. I get, I get, it bothers me a little bit. I'm not used to it. Floyd but, Mayweather but for, is not but, fought in an but, outdoor but, but, arena but for either. Fighting, 
for fight for, for training and fighting, I like humidity. I think that's normal. Warm up easy. A gym you is so to in there, bum up. yeah. And I mean, and I don't know if that's my wrestling background or what, but I'm used to being in a room that's, that's yeah. But even boxing, like if degrees. you look in, <laughs> yeah. if, if you look in the room or if you've ever been in the rooms, the pre-fight rooms uh, before a boxing match, it's they don't have the the air turned down. It's fucking hot in there. It's like seventy five degrees. Right? Oh yeah, because yeah, well, they you want, want you to be, get you loose and warm, fucking yeah. Up, and actually, I I loosen up so much better in the human. Yeah, every, yeah, of course, yeah. But I, Floyd has never fought in an open arena like this. Mm. Tonight, around fight time, it's going to be 80. All of us went to dinner last night. We were I, sitting I, on the make, water. Are we, trying, are we trying to make it a big big deal for Floyd or something? Like, oh, hey, he's never done this, though. I mean, come on. I'm, here's the deal, man. I'll, before Because we were going to get to this at the end of it. I don't give a shit. I'm going to throw a fucking grand on Logan Paul tonight. Here's why. I think there was probably some agreement of like, all right, great. We're going to go easy. This is going to be an exhibition. I think Logan's team behind the scenes, this is dead serious, says, dude, if you fucking knock out Floyd Mayweather, you'll be the biggest superstar on the fucking mm. planet. Go for it for eight rounds. Go for it. All in. If it was me or Dan or somebody else, right? I, I would do it just to do it. I don't fucking care what was agreed upon or, yeah. or anything else. You have one shot on this stage. He's got nothing to lose. Nothing I to mean, lose. I mean, even if Floyd knocks him out, it's, yes. that's one of the best boxers ever. Ever. And, and there's out. no shame oh, in yeah, that. There, there's, this is a no-lose no fight. I mean, I, I, like, well, it's a it's a lose for Mayweather because no, no, May I think it's not lose out, fight yeah. for, for, Logan. for Logan. Not not no. that. It's a no lose fight for Logan. <laughs> no, 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 no. But but what I mean is this: for Mayweather, let's say a couple of the rounds are close, like they were with Conor McGregor. When we watched the Conor McGregor fight, I thought Conor won the first three rounds out of the first four. I don't know if you did. I did. I, I, I did too. So I was, we're, I was, we're I was, in an eight round fight. Let's say Logan does that, and it leaves some doubt in people's mind because there is no judges tonight. Mm. And it just goes to the cards and it's like, hey, congratulations. They shake and hug. And some people are like, ah, I, I had Logan winning three or four rounds. I had fucking Floyd winning three or four rounds. It's a it's a victory for Logan. If he goes to distance, it's a victory for Logan. <clears throat> yes. And, and, and you don't, but you don't think he will. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't think, I don't think he will. I, I don't think Mayweather, Mayweather's going to have to try to knock him out. Mm. If he doesn't knock him out, if he goes a distance, it's a, it's a moral victory. Right. I, mean, I agree with that. You go, you go the distance with the best box, one of the best boxers of all time. I mean, it's not, I mean, it's not like going the distance with Tyson, but it's, yeah, you know, he's not known for his knockout power, but right. you know, but, but it is, but it's still the same. I mean, it's, at this level it, is, it really is i mean if you can go go the distance with him it's it's, it's amazing yeah because i mean all right we'll look at the That's odds the here because there, there's a bunch of crazy odds on this fight um which is great and i want to get your your thoughts on them here there's a lot of weird ass prop bets a lot so. of prop bets here and, and because if they're out there there then, shouldn't be a lot it's like a, it should be a lot because it's a goofy fight mm -hmm. it is right so okay the first one is floyd mayweather round one plus 400 that's a like those odds are low, in my opinion. Usually you're fucking around for the first I would, round, but I would I wouldn't touch it because I I think he's carrying him. Me neither. Yes, I, I'm with you. Yeah, he's, with you. I, I mean if, Floyd if, is a showman. If, if, he knows know, what he's like, doing. Look, if he didn't, if there, if there wasn't the Jake Paul fight on the horizon, mm. maybe just go out to show prove a point, knock him out in one round. Mm -hmm. But you want you want you want the Jake Paul. You want to make it look a little good. Mm. But but you're assuming Jake beats Tyron Woodley. Well, what? I, of course, but so is he because he's that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's a big money fight. Yeah, Maybe, but you know, he, I, he could probably I don't know he could probably uh, I don't know if that that translates. If Woodley wins, does he get a fight uh, Mayweather? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you're right. No, it's no. not like anybody's making any fucking rules here. I mean, this is all chaos. Okay, it's it all is. Chaos. I, I it's, it's all chaos. Yeah, but F Floyd Mayweather yeah, round yeah, two, four fifty. Vitor's fighting right now. Uh, some boxer on really. On, uh, on, oh yeah, I heard he just uh, signed for the Triller one. Yeah, for the one in August. The Triller one. No, the oh the one. next one. The next one. Yeah, sure. it's like next like two weeks. Is he not in one anymore? Vitor. <clears throat> I no, know. I think he's out. Yeah, I, I think he's. He, look, I just saw a thing that came on my feed that he, he was professionally fighting, fighting. somebody a boxer. Mm. So it's round two is four fifty plus four fifty for Floyd. Uh, round three plus seven hundred for Floyd. Uh, round four plus eight hundred for Floyd. Round five plus a thousand, and then it keeps going. Round six plus twelve hundred. Uh, round seven plus twelve hundred, and then round eight, which is the final round in this one, plus fifteen hundred. I'm taking six. Six is where I think the sweet spot is. That's enough time for him to fuck around a little bit, 
and then come in and dominate the kid. At so plus twelve hundred, I think that's a great <clears throat> bet. Yeah I, 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 yeah, I had some guys ask me at the pool. I said six, mm. I brought five or six. six five okay. or six for sure, but I think six is. Uh, no. I mean, he's look. If you're only gonna pay, who you saw that? what he did with Connor. Yeah, Connor did win those first couple of rounds, but that wasn't because Connor won those first couple of rounds. It's End of the tenth is where he turned it on. It's and because him out Mayweather knows exactly what the fuck he's doing. He's in complete control the whole time he's in the ring. I don't yep. think. I, I think he's going to fucking give us a show and then put the kid down, frankly. Now, we'll flip it over to Logan Paul. Logan Paul, round one, plus 1,800. Logan Paul, round two, plus 2,000. Logan Paul, round three, plus 2,500. Uh, round four, 2,500. I might sprinkle two and three just in case he gets lucky. For Logan Paul? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just in I'm, case I'm he, going to. But it's, it, if, it, if it goes past three, he's not going to knock him out after that. There's no way. He won't have the juice. He won't have the gas for that after, especially being outside like that. Uh, and then we've got round five th uh, plus 3,000. Uh, by the way, that's 30 to one for you guys at home, in case you're not that familiar with gambling. Logan Paul round six plus 3,000. Logan Paul round seven uh, plus 4,500, which is 45 to one. Logan Paul round eight is also plus 45 uh, mm. to one. Uh, 4,500, 45 to one. And then this is interesting of a, a draw at uh, a thousand points. So, uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's 10 to one on this. Here's why that is really interesting. I mean, if it's not a knockout, it is a draw, right? Correct. There is no judges. So, so they're betting they're 10 to one. It won't be a 10 fucking... to one that it won't be a knockout on either side. That is, I'll take that shit. That's a, that's, that could be the money play here. There's a really good chance. Nobody's going to get knocked. If out you here. throw a thousand on that, you're winning 10 grand. Yeah. Um, Shit. man. All right. So then, uh, here we go. Going the distance. Now here's where things get interesting. If it goes the distance, yes, is plus plus one fifty. It's not great odds. That's it's one and a half to one. So a lot of people think this is going to go the distance. Uh, and then wait, wait, wait. How, how's the, how's the draw then? Yeah. How's the draw then? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't what do you mean? Sense. Plus 1000. Uh, well, if, if that's just, it goes the distance, that's it. The distance There's the no draw. judges. Is there, Correct. Yeah, and it's a draw. This is only 150, and the draw is a thousand. So oh, oh, you, on. Why, why would you pick <laughs> go the distance when you can get plus one thousand? Yeah, what I'm saying. A hundred percent, and 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 I agree with you here. So there is caps on some of these. Okay. Okay. Now that, that's a reason. So yes. There, so there's a cap on that one, but if you want to keep extend it, you're going to plus. Correct. You want to go above that cap. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you look. You can put a lot of money on this. Would you though? Is 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 the other oh, thing? No, no, no. Um, we're going to because we're here, obviously. And uh, there's and a lot of rules here. Kind of like the Super Bowl. Tons you, of rules. Kind of like the Super Bowl. You got all these prop bets. Gonna have some fun. Right? It's great. Uh, have you, have Mayweather you versus Paul either get knocked down. Yes, yeah. minus three hundred. No, plus two hundred. What do you think of that, Chuck? Um, I would, do you I, think I, either I, one I, of them I get mean, knocked I, down? I, I think it'll be a knockout. It'll be knocked down. Okay. Uh, have you read these rules? Yeah, oh, yeah. Where so. If if KO or TKO, uh, standing fighter will be declared winner. If no KO or TKO, winner will be decided via vote. Who's voting? Mm. So I didn't. I haven't heard this. I have not heard. This I'm reading either. this off my bookie's website. It says props. There will be no judges if KO or TKO. Just what I said. If the broadcast declares a winner via voting, this result will be used oh, if, for settlement if, purposes. If they do, they've already said no. That was a rumor early on in the week. So they, they have said no that they're not going to do a vote. Okay, so if Reason no vote, being, this, so this was being... Uh, it's, it's a social media thing. Correct. If he makes and it, the Paul it, brothers would Paul win the vote. vote. Right. It would be like yeah. the MTV movie Oh, I movie see. Awards. They wanted to do that kind of vote. I see. Correct. If, if no vote... That makes a lot of sense. So if no, yes, vote, yeah. if no vote's held, which is apparently the case, and there's no, TK, or no, no KO, all wagers related to the fight outcome are void. Yes. So, so that's, that's, except yeah. for obviously, if you were betting on the, the fucking draw. the Correct. draw, uh, and but they've got some weird ones here. First to bleed, Mayweather well, at plus three fifty, Logan Paul at minus. Oh, there's 600. a bunch of great props. What will be said first by the broadcast team? Fifty and O, YouTube, and McGregor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> will Donald Trump show up? Is plus four hundred. Yeah, <laughs> he's right here in Mar-a-Lago. Uh, that'd be great. Want, he I, just I, gave I, a speech last find, night I, in North I, Carolina. I can find, find out for you. Well, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you have his number? I, I don't, but I, I know someone who does. <laughs> Will Jake accompany Logan to the ring? Minus 120 for both. Yes. No. Yes. He didn't last time. And he, like, Jake, Logan is a big fan of Jake's, Jake's it seems Logan? like. But Log, uh, Jake doesn't seem to like Logan, maybe? I don't know. I, like, I think the I think there's too much money in the. Here's why I'm saying yes. I think there's too much money in it. And with what, like Chuck was saying, after Jake beats Woodley, 
Mayweather is going to fight Jake. And, and yes, you want to promote both fights. Um, uh, Barstool was with the TikTok kids today. There's another, there is an undercard TikTok on, I believe it's your fight that you're doing. You're doing it. I, I, you're doing the refereeing for it. I believe it's I the know. Bryce. Yeah. I'm only doing one, one of the fights. I'm only mm. doing Lamar. Okay, gotcha, the, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Carter, but. So Jake showed up to that today as well. And they got in the middle of that with Dave Portnoy and the whole fucking thing. And here, look, this is peak 2021. Yeah. And, and I will say this to Logan Paul's credit all week long. He has been hilarious and humble in all the interviews. And he said tonight, his literally his post literally says today, tonight we break the simulation. He's in on the, the joke and everything yeah. else. But mm. if he does fucking knock him out, holy shit, dude. I, that's the sim world I want to live in. Yeah, it's great. Will Mayweather wear a hat to the ring? Plus well, no. 100 for yes. No, I say no to that. He never He's never worn a hat in the ring. After. No, I take that back. He wore a sombrero. Uh, I was at the fight. It was it was either De La Ho it was De La Hoya. Yes. yes. So he was like good kind of doing a racist troll. Yes. That's fucked up. The entire arena. I was at. I was Did literally he come in, in on that like a arena. Fucking burrow or some shit. What there the was hell? dude. There was not one Mayweather fan inside the entire arena. Will Mayweather wear a mask? Plus one thirty. Yes. No. No. He's not a mask guy. Will Mayweather have a shaved head? Minus one thirty five. Yes. E What's he, he been should. His hair looks like yeah. He, he had a fucking beard yesterday, so I don't know. Yeah, it, he, he should shave it, but I'm not going to bet that. Um, let's see. Will Mayweather have any crypto sponsors on his shorts? This is a great one. So the the reason why the rates and all that shit has been crazy in Miami, there, there is the biggest crypto conference going on right yeah. now. It's crypto week. Yeah, Tim Dello was a keynote speaker Correct. for some reason. I don't uh, know Logan Paul released his shorts um, on his Instagram yesterday. Mm -hmm. He does have a crypto patch on the back of these. I would say yes on that. What are the odds? Uh, minus 135. It's so not. somebody contacted us to try to get Chuck to wear a t-shirt uh, for a crypto company yesterday. Um, and uh, I said, look, man, I will run it by him. But that is a lot to ask. Um, How much money? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. it was not enough money. I'll, I'll, it was not enough money to even ask Chuck to do this type of bullshit. Well, fighters touch gloves before the opening bell. Yes. Plus 100. Yes. 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 I, I think they're, they're courteous to each other. Yeah. Well, the well, the crowd chant chant Fauci. OK, this is the best bet ever. And I'll uh, wait, 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 wait. I'll tell you why. Because you can fucking do it. All the drinking bro listeners have gotten together and messaged me and said, hey, dude, Ross, your your voice is the loudest everywhere you go. Why couldn't you and Dan start fire Fauci during the thing? And everyone would do it. We're in Florida with Ron DeSantis. Everyone would do this tonight. What are the odds on that? And how much can we bet? I will do it tonight it's, for sure. It's plus 120, but I bet you can't bet more than like 10 or 30 bucks. We'll see what we can bet. I'll, I'll do this because we're in the 10th row tonight. I will fucking get the chant going. My voice will easily carry 10 rows. And then, yes, with Florida, we're in fucking Florida, dude. We can get fire Fauci going. 25 is the max bet on that. We can get it going right before that fight for sure. I'm not. That's 25. I'm Did not, you bring the AMC sign tonight? Uh, yeah, it's in the. OK, great. Yeah. Um, since AMC <clears throat> bought these tickets tonight for us, we took it to the moon. We're going full meme uh, stock to get the meme tickets tonight. And then if if fucking Logan Paul knocks him out, I don't know where we go from here. Um, well, we get the Trump. The next one is the Trump one plus 400. If he's here, yeah. minus 900 for no. I'll say no. And the reason why that that's that secret service. I've been in a few events with with Trump. They would have given us a heads up of like, dude, yeah. it's it's gnarly. All right, so uh, Floyd Mayweather by KO, TK, or DQ minus two hundred. Floyd by decision or technical decision plus two fifty. But I don't know by there decision. Is no decision, yeah, yeah. So I mean, that would be a TKO in that in that circumstance. Logan, Logan Paul by TKO, KO, TK, or DQ plus four hundred. Now a DQ would be interesting. I mean, you would it you would, would have to be you would have to do something pretty egregious. Yeah, and I, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, that draw, though, if I can put a grand on that draw, it's a thousand bucks. A, or, yeah. I'm sorry, plus ten to one, plus a thousand. Yeah. Do they have to announce the draw though? Uh, yeah, yeah. So they they'll announce it at the end. So th this happened to us. In case you guys were following along in Drinking Bro Sports with the Mike Tyson Roy Jones Jr. fights, uh, we had all bet on that, and at the end they just announced it a draw, and it was like, dude, fuck this. Um, I was not stoked about it. I will not be stoked. If this goes the distance tonight, unless it's an entertaining fight, if it's an entertaining fight, shit, man, then you're going to want judges at this shit. But I'm assuming 
Oof. And this is what I heard, Chuck. You'll know better than anybody else. I'm assuming because of the weight difference, that's why they did not want to sanction this or nobody would sanction this. What was that? Because, because of their were, weight difference. The weight disparity, yeah, between well, the two guys. I, I, they, the, the Boxing Commission would not sanction this fight. Yeah, I don't I don't know the Boxing Commission that well, so I don't know what, what they allow and what they don't okay. as far as that goes. Um, I don't know if you have to be over a weight. I, I, I don't remember that. Like if it's too great of a difference or something, but it's only, yeah. what, what are they, like 40 pounds? No. I mean, by the time this goes off, it'll be 45, yeah, 55. Weigh in weight, so yeah, it's the yeah. weigh-in weight. weight. So it's 155 and 195 or whatever, or 180, yeah, 189 yeah. is what he came So you're with. looking at technically 35, 35 pounds, pounds yeah. but that's, it's so much weight. And <clears throat> dude, Logan's going to put on 15 tonight, Chuck? But, but, but his, or last his, night? It's a lot of weight, like wrestling. Or when wrestling's involved, it be, becomes more, more important than when striking's involved. I think... Um, I mean, it, it gives you a little bit of advantage in certain things are striking, but like it, when at, at the, the, their their skill difference. Yeah, it is. It's not. It's great. It's, yeah, uh, it, it comes down to skill. You know, it's one of those things. Right. Like, like you said, bigger, stronger, faster should should win. Everything else being equal, mm -hmm. but obviously the skill levels here are not equal. Logan getting knocked down is minus two eighty. Uh, Floyd getting knocked down is plus two hundred. That seems. It low. seems low, actually. I, yeah. I, I would have thought I, I, that would have been at 400 or so. Same. That's weird. Same. Again, all these odds are on mybookie.com. Promo code Drinker Bros doubles your deposit. Uh, what will be said first by the broadcast team? 50 and 0. Is it plus 125? YouTube. Is it plus 150? McGregor. Is it plus 250? Vlogger. Is it plus 500? I will say YouTube. I'll go YouTube on this. The prop beds are hilarious. Yes. Yeah. They're the best. They're the best. It's just wild. But they, usually you can only bet a little bit on those because uh, they don't, you know, yeah, it's, yeah, so, yeah. it's so random. Shit sometimes. gets wild. Like they don't have anything for the, uh, the musical acts or what's going on this time. Is there some kind of. No, this is showtime. So like I, I, you were at the Triller event, which was a fucking five hours this is showtime showtime is promoting this fight yes yeah yeah so showtime is not going to put up with that bullshit i'm, I'm but, imagining but here's the thing like look when you order a trailer right you knew what you're getting yes you get you you, you 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 know what you're ordering you're not you're you know you're gonna have a few few good fights thrown in mm. real fight and then you have these other clown like goofy fights like right. you know it's just it, it's they're fun i i actually i they're i like them i watch i watch guys like that don't know how to fight beat each other up. Mm -hmm. and it's like tough, yeah okay it's like the it's tough, man tough, tough man shit yeah. tough man stuff and i i don't mind watching that or that the celebrity boxing and stuff i it's entertaining those guys i was like seeing how they get don't realize how tired they're gonna get and they get out there and you know um but yeah i mean I'll watch anything. Yeah, but, but Same, I mean, if yeah. it's entertaining, like, who gives a shit? Because I, I talked to some of the guys, the trailer guys afterwards, they're complaining about the show, this and that. Mm. And, oh, they were, you know, uh, Snoop was smoking weed. I'm like, did you really think he wasn't going to be? Like, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's Snoop. It's freaking Snoop. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and he and he's, he's, he did did his job. I mean, yeah, he, yeah. And he was nowhere near the ring. I mean, if you were there, it was like all spread out. In the the broadcast team yeah. wasn't the issue. Like they were fine. It was it, five hours worth of concerts. Yeah, it was the fights. weird music stuff. But but, but, that, but that's mm. but if you know that it's going to be concerts and that's what the, the, the product is mm. and, you, and that's who their that's their audience and that's your, and what you're trying to do with that audience as far as the boxing side goes is you put a, a couple of real fights on that card that are right. decent and hopefully you, you get some people that, are, that weren't fans before go hey that's pretty cool yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know, that's pretty cool I'm gonna watch boxing next time there's yes. a real boxing card I'm gonna watch that because it's all about personality and, and, in the end and I that's mean, what you're trying to yeah. you're trying to steal people you're trying to grab grab some of those people. But the other thing is, you're trying to get people to buy this that like they, some of these people are buying it and aren't, aren't fight fans. Yeah, they're just right. like they, one of the people. See, yeah. They'd rather see the DJ. They'd rather see the the. the I mean, it's uh, almost YouTube, like the, the, the YouTube the element of it. Yeah, yeah. Like they, they want to see yeah. the performances. That's, what, that's like, and if, if you're just just a fight a pure fight fan, mm. you know what you bought. Right. Like it's not you didn't you didn't buy a UFC. You didn't buy a, a, a Showtime ticket. Mm. You bought. You bought uh, an entertainment ticket. Yeah, for sure. And it's it's almost like reality television at this point. Right. Which yes. is, I mean, it's the most popular kind of television. We're here. For a reason. <laughs> so we're, we're here. Yeah. So, I mean, clearly everybody's talking about it. Everybody's doing it. How many people stopped us in the, in the lobby this morning, Chuck, asking for tickets? I mean, that was shocking. I was like, no. dude, six people grabbed me. And I was like, 
Hey, dude. You know, a lot of people have that weird thing. Like, well, I got to buy four tickets. Like, I buy. Oh, oh because of COVID. Yeah. yeah. So you can go two, four, and six. Um, so, in case you were curious at home, what the prices were last row in the entire stadium, and, and keep in mind, this is Dolphin Stadium, Hard Rock Arena, are going for $300 for the very last row. Ringside's going for about five grand uh, a pop, and they've not gone down. The prices have not gone down. So, usually well, it drops. What do you consider ring, ringside? Uh, ringside's in the first like 10 rows. Um, so that's, that's kind of it after that, you know, why were you, is ringside well, different to you, Chuck? I, just, I was Chuck wants to be dick. sitting in the center of the you ring in a lazy no, dick. I, I, wait, no, I just, I just don't, I don't know what, the, when they say that for how much it costs, I just want to know how deep it goes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying yeah. how deep does it go? Like, cause I don't, I mean, I, I always, I consider like ringside the front row. Mm. Like, but, oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, yeah. How, how fucking deep, Jack Nicholson over here. Yeah, was, dude. Was fucking Lakers tickets. Hey. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bougie Chuck Liddell. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, first no. 10 rows is technically ringside after that because we own a ticket and company drinking oh, yeah. 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 after that that's when the prices go up where you're just yeah. like all right it's sweet. it's wild yeah, and I, I was I, I just always wondered like, I got when, when did it start is it three I was thought it was the first three rows is the first 10 it, rows it probably depends on how the setup is <clears throat> I haven't ever been to an outdoor fight like this before I mean I guess I mean Canelo that was in yeah. Cowboy Stadium, but it's still in a dome. It still seemed like you were in a building. This one's going to be open air, so I don't know. Open air in Miami. Like it's that's a whole different. Degrees. That's a whole different kind of setup. I don't even know what the uh, what the landscape is going to look like well, in the middle there. Traditionally, you get dressed up for a fight. Uh, jean, you know, jacket, jeans, whatever. Yeah. Are you going shorts today? I mean, we're in Miami. What's the protocol for this? You almost today? have to. Are those BKE shorts? Oh, I gave yeah, those are. to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are good shorts. You know that uh, and accepted. That was my fraternity. BKE. Yeah. What Brotherhood. Brotherhood. Me. You and me. Oh, that's stupid. Beta, Calpha, uh, Epsilon, mm. I believe. You're welcome for that. That's an accepted throwback. The only, you gave me these shorts. The only Greek uh, I was ever in was uh, National Honor Society. I never did any of the fraternity stuff. Did you ever do a fr Were you on a frat when you were in college? No. <laughs> you didn't like getting peed on and shit or whatever the fuck oh, you guys that, do? That didn't happen. Can you imagine somebody trying to rush Chuck Liddell into a frat? He's standing there looking <laughs> like this. And you're like, Chuck, do push-ups. He's like, nah. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. No, that ain't happening, dog. <laughs> that ain't happening. Um, ring music. That's what I want to do. Ring music, by the way. So we're we go to a bar last night. I want to I want to chat about this because it's fucking hilarious. We get here. Everybody recommended this sports bar, and we'll give him a shout out because it was great. Yeah, Bo Campers. It's a uh, former Dolphins player owns a couple of these restaurants throughout the city. Apparently, so it was on the water, and they were like, "Hey, the food is excellent there," and it was awesome. Right? A weird combination of uh, foods: sushi, sushi, and wings. I, yeah. So the way the waiter comes wings over, and ribs. Yeah, yeah. The and waiter ribs. comes the over. Ribs were good too. <laughs> shit. And he goes, "Look." I go, what, what are you known for here? And he goes, well, we're known for three things. Wings, ribs, and sushi. None of those. Those are three entirely different No human being has ever said that fucking sentence before. All of us died laughing, and then we ordered all of it to the and table. And it was all really fucking good, It was good, all too. really fucking yeah. good. I told him I would give him a shout-out today, and I was like, hey, this is awesome. But what I didn't know, uh, and we'll give a shout-out to uh, the, the GM, James, because he was a, a huge fan of yours. I don't know if you noticed this because he seemed disappointed, but he played your walk-in music when he was walking us to the table. Did you what, know DMX? No, I, I heard it. Yeah. Oh, you did? <laughs> Like, he was playing DMX when we were walking to the yes. table. I didn't hear it. Like on the on his phone. Yeah. So no, no, no. He had the DJ play oh it over the God. fucking thing. Oh, and so I, I, yeah. I heard it. Yeah. That's really I, funny. I, I, I didn't even notice that. Walking over to the Jesus. dinner table, you got your walk-in music last night. We're gonna pay Giorgio. Yeah, that's pretty funny. It was pretty funny. We're gonna pay I, awesome. I, but I'm always like, okay, um, are they doing okay? I'm not Let's get ready to rumble. You know, you're like, I'm eating wings. We're going to have Giorgio follow you around with a boom box playing it like fucking John Cusack. And what is it? Uh, uh, say anything. Say anything. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, but it was it was really fucking funny. And he goes, uh, he was the nicest guy in the world. He asked me for tickets last night. I was like, hey, I'll, I can get you tickets off our site. That's fine. So I did. And uh, and then he goes uh, at the end of the night, he goes, hey, did Chuck notice that I, I, I played his walk-in music to the, to the dinner table? And I go, I think he did. I think you did. So I'm glad you noticed, Chuck, and and it was awesome. Okay. Did you think it was a co <laughs> Do you think it was a coincidence? I mean, how could? No, I, I, I get it. I mean, when I, I know that's like my most famous knockout. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever meet DMX in real life? Um, once I, I was actually in a movie with him. Really? Which one? Um, uh, what's it called? Uh, Cradle to Grave. Oh, oh shit. you were in that? Yeah. Did you play? I haven't seen that in years. Me, Tito, and, and, and Randy were in it. 
No fucking way. Who Randy else was in, in Rage 15 with us? Steven Seagal in that movie? Or? No, no, that was the other. Jet, Jet Lee, Lee, yeah. That's right. Who yeah. was, what was the Steven Seagal when he did uh, DMX? Was it DMX? Oh, and Anthony, yes, dude, Anthony, yes. Anthony Anderson, I think. I saw a funny expression. I had a guy come up, a guy I knew come up, he goes, hey man, how do you think you do in a fight with that Jet Li? I'm like, I started laughing. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? Like, uh, how do I do in a fight with Jet Li? I'm out like a choreographed like, fight or like well, a real well, fight? Yeah, was he asking like, like a street fight? fight? Like in a movie or like a street <laughs> fight? Like, no, like, like a real fight. Like, um, he does Win Chun, right? Well, or he's something? Like 145 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't, he's doesn't, a 145 pound karate, like movie fighter. In a movie, he's going to kick my ass. Mm, yeah. And he's, he, chore- he choreographs the shit. He does great stunts. He'll do all that with me. But doesn't he do we, one we of the. We fight. Uh, it's, what? Yeah. Like, and it... then the guy started. Like, no, but, he, but he, he's a real martial artist. I'm like, okay. I'm done talking. That, well, that, I'm, that's I'm, what, I'm in done, Once I'm Upon done, a Time I'm, in Hollywood. I'm, 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 I'm done arguing with you. Bye. Yeah. In Once yeah, Upon yeah. a Time in Hollywood, that was a, a through line with uh, Bruce Lee and Brad Pitt's character beating the shit out of Bruce Lee. And it, the daughter was pissed. Mm. She was like, he would have won or whatever. And it was like, yeah. Hey. No. Wushu. That's yeah. what he does. Wushu. It's like, it's like dancing. Yeah. It's like a, it's, a great, it's he, like he, yoga he's almost. really cool, dude. I mean, but it was like, but, like a guy got walking him. I'm like, he, are you silly? Like, do you know about dudes in movies that can act? Like, I've heard for my entire adult life that Steven Seagal is a legit fighter because he inherited three Japanese Aikido dojos, and that's like a big deal over there. But I, I, I mean, he, the way he looks on camera <laughs> makes it really hard to believe he's a good fighter. Makes him look I better. I don't like that that he has a tendency. Like, I've heard he's had a tendency to hurt guys. Like, hurt. Stuff I've heard that too. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, Gene LaBelle screwed him, messed him up. One Didn't time. wasn't uh, there's somebody that tried to. F- uh, do that to Bruce Lee during a movie one time. It was that one that Chuck Norris is in, but it wasn't Chuck Norris. It's somebody else. Yeah, yeah. It was somebody else yeah. that was actually trying to hurt Bruce, and Bruce fucked him up or something. Which look, I agree with. Yeah, I, who Bruce Lee? Well, Bruce Lee was a was legit like fighter, right? I mean, he just happened to stumble into the movie shit, but he made his bones originally teaching in San Francisco, right? Before he ever got involved in Hollywood. The first MMA guy. Like, first yeah, combined right. Martial arts. Yeah, I mean, it's. Do you think that? translates do you think his uh jeet kune do trans like no no set positions translates into mma like that yeah well i mean his thing was use what works for you right right because like, you don't do katas take, no, right no, no well I, I did in karate when i was a kid, right yeah but, yeah but but no but but use what works for you mm. it, it's kind of you know it's like I, i've always I've, i adopted that a long time ago like i learned like so I, if i come into your gym and you're teaching this i'll learn it right i'll, I'll try to figure out how you're doing it mm. and then i'll try to see if it works for me if it doesn't i'll yeah. keep it if it, if it if it does i i mean if it does i'll keep it if it doesn't i'll, I'll get rid of it that's a smart move i mean i don't it more, never more, hurts to have something else in your in your toolbox especially because i mean fighting fighting is not just about skill it's about matchups right like and if you, and, and there's, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Like the first day, the best thing I ever did was when I was a kid. In the beginning, was in the beginning when I was a kid. I used to go to this kung fu school on Fridays. Mm. Now it was kata day at my my gym. Mm. Yeah. So, so you skipped I, it. I, I go there. I go there and do the minimum bare minimum, minimum right. and then I leave and I go to the sparring day at, at this kung fu school. And they'd have guys come in there that were just boxers. They'd mm. have guys come in taekwondo guys, and just having to see guys come at you because not the same as you. I, right, I, was, yeah, yeah. I was just smart we had a bunch of like, meathead guys that fought bang you know like yeah yeah, yeah. You know, we were, i was used to, if you're a meathead street ball and banger i was used to you that's right what we yeah, yeah. but like but you get something like they start throwing these weird kicks and they throw some di- spinning stuff mm-hmm. or they do this uh, they change other things up it's different so but it comes at you different but learn but being there i learned to uh, adapt to different things and then i i learned and one of the things i did through my career was you know, I I threw from a lot. I I threw from a lot of angles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I threw, but but it was calculated. I wasn't throwing wild punches. I had people that oh, I thought all you threw were haymakers. Right, yeah, yeah. You no. know, I, Jeremy Horn after, I, after yeah. our second fight, when I knocked, knocked him silly. That dude is like, a you know, fucking a animal, man. Yeah, yeah. But knocking he, him he's out he's is all, he's all, impressive. I didn't know. He's all, I didn't know. I didn't know you had a straight right. <laughs> on, my, my straight right sets everything else up because if you're yeah. if you're worried about everything else, my straight right's gonna mm-hmm. knock you out. Yeah. Well, you've right. knocked out quite a few people with your straight right, especially people who are trying to uh, shoot on you, right? Yeah. Right. I mean, just that that's a brutal that's a brutal to be coming in that fast and then get hit in the fucking face and, and yeah that's, it's not fun and, that, and that's the thing that's like a, i would say that about the ben Askren fight when he got knocked out with that knee to the head mm, just you, the velocity you're talking about the velocity of his shot because yeah. ben Askren, a guy like ben Askren, the way he shoots mm-hmm. he's got so much velocity on his shot yeah 
I mean, he's got a he's got a very powerful trunk for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, to be a wrestler he's, that he's, great, he's you have to. That hard, and then you now and then, uh, then Masvidal is running across the ring and throwing a flying knee. Not Force like that. is that's got like, those two things hit. It's like it's like a Bugs Bunny. Force is like mass times velocity squared, right? Is that right? Yeah. Am I right about that? Uh, e, e equals mc squared. No, nope, that's, uh, that's that's rel relativity. Uh, the Pythagorean theorem comes into play here a lot as well. Um, could DMX fight in real life? I have no idea. He seems like the kind of guy that could. Yeah. For some I, reason. I don't know why. Uh, same. Because he, you know, he obviously he just passed away. And a bunch of people were asking us to ask you about him. Uh, that's why I was asking about him in all sincerity. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, I, you know, I didn't I didn't know you did that movie with him. That's that's awesome. But yeah. uh, I, I always wonder if because that was your walkout song, if later on, you know, DMX was like, hey, appreciate that, Chuck. You're my dog. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Uh, no, I, I never got to talk to him after it. I mean, I I, uh, I did the movie. I, that was back in, that was early, like 2000. 2003, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cradle of the Grave. Yeah, Cradle of the Grave, I think it was like two, oh two, oh three. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, but he was I, I, that, that movie actually when we shot it right it was supposed mm -hmm. to be three days and they apologized, they're like apologize hey it took us ten days because they were like crazy for filming so oh many, shit so two thousand three I'm never wrong it took us ten days and it was we were getting about a thousand bucks a day right yep because it, it was overtime and all that mm -hmm. stuff. And like and they started apologizing and we're so sorry I'm like well, you realize my next fight I'm like five and five mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm, I'm making five grand and five grand so I'm making a thousand dollars a day we're good Dude, yeah yeah we, we can do we can do this as Chuck's long like as, Chuck's we, we can do this as long as you Chuck's, want. Chuck's rolling around like sabotaging production and shit so he can work longer. Knocking over lights and shit. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, man. Just don't tell him. He, yeah. he, he keeps fucking making noises behind the scene. Like, oh, sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Blasting Kinos. Sorry, that <laughs> That's hilarious. So uh, tonight, by the way, we're we are close enough that, Georgia, I wanted to ask you this. Um, are the guys who uh, is Hot Bob and Dan going live from Drinking Bros Studio? God, I just want to pop in real quick, there and if you're go. if you're a Drinking Bros listener, make sure you watch into that watch along tonight. There might be something extra special, different than normal watch alongs. Maybe you get a little uh, free pay per view. I don't know. I'm not telling you these things. Maybe security will escort me out, but I would say tune in. Yes. So what we're planning on doing That's on, very on drinking? No, I'll tell them what we're planning on doing on Drinking Bros Sports since we're so close. By the way, when is this coming out? Uh, right in like two hours. Okay. Yeah. Um. What we're doing on Drinking Bros Sports tonight, uh, the undercard started at 8, so we, we will be live there from 8 o'clock, obviously. Uh, Giorgio will be able to zoom into the studio, and you will be able to watch the fight from our seats. You'll get the POV of where we are. It's completely legal. We're there, so. Um, yeah, it is. And, and so you're fine. And, and it's on a phone, and it's like, it's 4K. This is your dream. This well, is what I Apple mean, Chuck, was built for. Chuck zoomed us from the trailer fight. Yes. And, we, and we during, one of, during one of the seven-hour musical interludes or whatever the fuck. It was, was Justin happened. Bieber. It was <laughs> Justin Bieber you zoomed in for. No, it wasn't. That, that meant a lot. Bieber wasn't there, was he? Yeah, Bieber, yeah, Bieber, Bieber was, was there. in a full concert, dude. Yeah. I tuned all, I've tuned all that out. It was so upsetting to me. I blocked it out of my memory now. I loved it. I, I'm with you, Chuck. I enjoyed the shit. Oh, uh, to baby, I do remember. Oh, I, I had fun. Same. I, 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 it was it was a shit show, but I had a great time there. It was a good. I, mean, it was, it I laughed. Been, it would have been. Yeah, been, yeah, dude. There was an epic knockout. I yeah. was. I loved it. It would have been perfect it. if they hadn't put in like a literally an hour long concert in between the first and second fight. If they had just broken it up more. Agreed. It would have been that whole thing would have been great. Agreed. That's but, all. That's really. I'm not. We bitch about a lot to be funny, but it was. It was actually pretty fucking cool, except for that. That shit was like, what the fuck? Yeah, and, and yeah, a buddy they, of mine directed that, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they won't do it that is. again. Because you out. lost all the momentum after. Because the first fight was actually not bad. Yeah. And then it was like, all right, well, yeah, that, you know, now we're that, watching that, something else. Like, I, that, that, I was, like, it was a big break between the first yeah, fight and the yeah. next fight. Like, it was about an hour. Um, and I'll give a shout out. So my buddy, Burt Marcus, actually directed that whole event. And that was the, the the negative feedback that he got afterwards was, hey, man, why did you have so many musical performances or whatever? And he goes, look, I think what nobody understands, this is what you were saying earlier, is nobody's done this before. Therefore, dude, we're, we're trying something completely different. And when you have musical acts that are that big, you don't know if they're tuning in for Justin Bieber or Jake Paul or, or who they are. So you're kind of just trying to figure it out as you go along. And he goes, look, certainly you would tighten up certain elements on a second go around, but it's never been done like that before. And it, it, well, it's hard. Chuck, tell about affliction. Talk about affliction. What about, what, what about affliction? They had like Metallica playing and stuff. Did they really? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, no. Look, I think I think the problem was is they went with a, a production guy. Like not 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 nothing nothing against Bert. I actually know him. I'm a, I, oh, you know Bert? I know Bert. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing against him, but I think you're asking a lot from a guy for a guy to produce something. Yes. That is a fight. Yep. Fight fights. It's different. Fights are different than I think. I think they needed. It's like a sporting fight, event. Fights are different. Concerts are different. Yeah. yeah. And then like concert performances are different than your normal production. Like it's. Right. So it, I think I think it's a lot to ask for some, a first like for take someone that's, that usually does other kind of productions. He's, he's typically a producer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, a, he's a great yeah, producer, by the way. And he, yeah. he, duck, he directs documentaries. Yeah, yeah. Right. but he's like that's just a, keeping the momentum but, going. But, but but for like, but fight. The, fight it's like the U, like the UFCs. Mm -hmm. Nobody, has, I think, honestly, if you production value and the way the flight flows and the way the thing goes, nobody else has been able to copy their product no Correct. it's because I, they've got they, this weird confluence one every the moment they whatever they do production wise they definitely keep the momentum going but it's guys like first of all i think they've got the best announcer in the game with john anik i think he's one of the most smart well-prepared motherfuckers in any in all the sports uh well, and hey anik dude in my he opinion is so is fucking good business, he knows man. he like i i've seen i've been with him during his pre-fight prep and he's you and like, i've been with him He's got the like 60 of these yes. three by five cards with every detail about this human being's life, yes. even all the way down to the fucking middle of the day fights. Yep. And he's just like reading over them like, holy shit, dude. Best you in know the that? biz. Dude. And then Joe is obviously super entertaining and he's a good dude and everybody likes him. And then you got, they, 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 do, well, they do a great job a great of bringing color guy too. Because, yeah, he's so good because well, he knows well, the fucking here, sport. He knows the sport. Yes. Like, he's a jujitsu guy. Like how, how many, there's, it's hard to find a guy with his comedic chops mm -hmm. and, and have that um, you know his knowledge of striking. Yep. And of jujitsu. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, or and you know even before he's been in the sport for how long he's yeah. been forever. But, and then they do a good job of peppering in uh, uh, dudes that really know, like I mean, dudes that are actual professionals like DC and uh, and uh, you know guys like that. I think what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Felder's been good. I think they had. You like Bisbing and all? He fucking blew us off. He was supposed to do the show. I like him I in like real him. life. Yeah, I like Bisbee. I've heard he's a good dude. Yeah, I know. No, he, he, he's a solid guy. I like him. Sorry, I got to pop in one more time. <laughs> that 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 right hand uh, from Dan Henderson in UFC 100 mm -hmm. against Bigsby was probably one of my favorite moments ever watching MMA at all. That was the greatest right hand that I've ever. There's seen. a lot of people that don't. <laughs> a lot of people. Don't, a lot <laughs> of offense taken. I'm a Dan Henderson fan. Yeah. A lot of people. Uh, Why well, was that a chair? I, I, I jumped out of my chair when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I was at a I was at a charity thing with uh, Hendo like two and a half months ago or three months ago I think in Dallas mm -hmm. and uh, everybody's like, "Hey, Dan Henderson's here." I'm like, "Well, that's weird because he didn't say shit. He's just kind of standing no, over no, there. I, he's not getting any funny. attention." I was just about to say something. Like, what when the you fuck? Said, when you said that, like he is so funny. Like I, I he's the guy that like. We'll be out in Vegas sometime, and he'll, just, I'll, I'll look <clears> over, and he'll be standing there by himself. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yep. come on, Dan, you want to come in? Like, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll come with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, okay, like, all right, bro, let's go. He just seems like, he's a great, he's love, a great dude. Guy, yeah. But, like, he seems completely content just existing wherever he is. Yeah. He's like cool, this, right? it's cool with my hand, And he shook yeah, my yeah. hand, and his fucking hand feels like uh, it feels like concrete. Like he's got the hardest hands. I've ever felt in my life. So I don't want to get punched by him. I'm sure that that right hand was probably uh, worse because of the shape of his hands. Jesus yeah, oh yeah. Christ. Yeah. That motherfucker. Uh, who do you who do you think uh, the, the boys come out to tonight? I'm going to say one of them comes out to DMX. That would be a pretty good troll from for Jake to come out to DMX. Or uh, Logan? Next fight. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, yeah, the, the next, next one. one yeah. yeah. Just to, if he's going to talk some shit to you, that would be a good way for him to talk shit to you. Right. Instead of just getting mad that you call him a clown. I don't think, I don't think they. I don't think they. They want the fight, so I don't think they really want to keep talking shit. So. Probably not. Maybe you should. We're, we should ramp it up a little bit. We'll buy some billboards over near the fucking uh, their uh, their little YouTube That's, house or whatever. Well, they're is. here now. They live here. They've been training here out of Miami for. Ah, well, we'll do it here then. Yeah. We'll hire one of those uh, biplanes just to fly with a thing behind it, uh, it banner behind it. So it's just clown, and it's got the clown emoji on it. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I just, I mean, I, I would think for guys in their position, the way they do, they'd have a lot thicker skin. Yeah, because their whole game is about shit, talking shit. You know, and, and I, which is fun. That's why yeah, like, like, people love know, sports. We, yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah. We're, I'm, I thought they'd have a little fun with it when it'd be over, you know. But it is what it is. I don't well, know. you do have kind of a t uh, like a. a a very 
level demeanor so it can be hard to tell if you're joking or not probably yeah, for somebody yeah. like well, that but either sure, way but, 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 I, it's, but why would you just talk yeah, shit for no reason obviously yeah. you're doing it to have fun yeah. right if i if i thought it would hurt his feelings like that i wouldn't have done it but i mean it's, it's all right it's all good he'll be fine yeah. fuck he's yeah, got he's, he's got a good jillion dollars he'll, yeah he'll he go can, to sleep no, on his, <laughs> his bed of money he'll tonight he'll be, yeah, he'll be fine <laughs> i'll be fine he'll be fine Giorgio, i didn't get to ask you uh genuinely what do you think is going to happen tonight This is the fight that I have the least amount of knowledge on whatsoever. So I'm just kind of banking off a celebrity. Well, and why are we asking him? He's got, yeah, he's got, I have no got, knowledge of blonde, boxing he's got, whatsoever. He's I'm, got blonde hair right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've, he's got so, blonde hair from losing the last one. Why exactly. <laughs> and, and Xander is sitting there over in the corner and he has a thousand dollars of my money because of the last fight. So uh, honestly, I got to. I, I think Mayweather puts him down with some body work. Logan gets way tighter than he's ever been before mm. and probably somewhere in the end. But honestly, like you can't count out that punching power, but well, I, we don't know if he has it yet. Right? Yeah. We'll see. But I mean, wait, 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 why, why, yeah, why has he got punching power? He's 50 pounds bigger. So That's true. Hey, by, hey, by the way, by the way, I've, I've had, I've held bits for guys mm -hmm. that, professional football players yeah you said yeah. like big, big like, like really on load on it yeah big, big, big guys that hit the pads i'm like come on man hit harder <laughs> you're gonna hit it like, well they don't know how to, they they don't know how to punch no no but i'm saying they don't know how to punch and what i'm saying but and then i've had other ones that like i mean i've had guys i've had guys um i guys that could hit like small guys yeah like so Ho know, had, but, well, jose altuve right yeah for the fucking Astros, uh -huh. Kyle, hits Kyle, thirty home runs a year. He is five foot six. Yeah. Hey, well, Kyle, Long, Kyle Long, now that guy. Kyle Long. I hope that I hope that's for him. I am I'm like oh, shit, motherfucker. I think we're all <laughs> like easy. I assume that Logan is somewhat of a strong human being. He was third in the state in Ohio as a wrestler. So mm. I mean, he has a oh, little oh, bit of core. Okay, he has no, a little no, bit of core. I get it. It's he's a wrestler. It's a wrestler yeah. thing. It's yeah. a wrestling. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky. He's not a wrestler. He's an athlete. He's a. He's a. Tough guy, but that doesn't necessarily translate to yeah. punching power when you're boxing. You're now, lucky. Again, most, almost every wrestler that I've seen, it, when you ground and pound, when they think of that that on the ground, they just throw that hook, or mm -hmm. uh, or, they, or even the wild hook when they're boxing, they mm -hmm. have they have that hook power. It's in the trunk like, though, right? That trunk, cause, yeah, because they have that core wrestler. The wrestlers have that core power, right? Right. And the, so uh, I think he's gonna have that kind of power for sure. But I just I don't know if he has that same we'll see. that same straight right that's right. The workout, the workout video. Does, it, it, he might. <laughs> It's you know, genetics, but but yeah. but I like I said, my brothers they didn't have the same power. So I, I, don't I completely like, agree. I don't like giving it to someone who hasn't done it yet. Let's see, let's see him knock somebody out. I, if Mayweather takes him lightly in the late rounds and is showboating and dancing around, maybe he gets caught. If he still and got and the underestimates juice, yeah. him way later. If he maybe still, if he still maybe. got the juice left at that point. And I mean, honestly, this is just Logan's for you guys to tired. bet on Logan later. I'm just trying to help my bookie.com promo code drinking bros. Yeah. will double your deposit. Yeah. Um, never bet with me in boxing whatsoever. You'll end up looking like me and losing all your money. So, uh, yeah, enjoy the fight. <laughs> <laughs> and now's the point in the show. We get to the drinking bro of the week. Uh, we're actually going to give it to you, the audience. Um, when we started this meme stock thing in January. Uh, we got together after work after GameStop, um, went to the moon and we sat with Giorgio, we sat with uh, fake Dan, we sat with hot Bob uh, and obviously Anthony and Anthony Holloway. And we said, hey, why couldn't we do this as an audience? Let's pick one of these fucking things and see if we can get it to go. And it just so happened that AMC was the next one to hit on Reddit. Correct. And so we, we had all uh, gotten together AMC was kind of leaning that way on Reddit and we said, all right, we got 10.3 million listeners. Let's all do it. Buy it. Go diamond hands, laser eyes, ape strong. And we did it. We sold out of the position this week after it exploded and we bought ringside seats for all of us to the fight tonight. And I know what you're saying, hey, you guys own your own ticket company, drinkingbosickets.com. That's fine. We still have to pay for these. <laughs> like, otherwise, yeah. it would be sold to someone else. So we are extremely, extremely grateful. Uh, uh, you guys all made a shit ton of money. We've been getting mm -hmm. messages all week off the stock, and uh, it's been fun, but it is your money and your livelihood. And at this point, we are out of it, and we're doing it for dumb shit. Hopefully, you're doing it for something cool at home. Yeah, and I mean, it is, it's been beneficial for us. Like, this didn't come out of the budget 
for the show or anything. We, Correct. We used our own money that we made on AMC to pay for all these tickets. Yes. For us. So it, it, for, for real. And, yeah. It was, and, we want to, we want to do something cool that you guys can watch with the money. That was pretty much what we decided. To do. Yeah. Otherwise, so what, we're we're, here, what the fuck are we going to do? Yeah. We're here and like, uh, put it in the bank. Fuck that. And flip over to drinking bros sports, separate YouTube channel tonight. Um, hot Bob and, and fake Dan. And what time are they going be there? They will be going what? It's 7 PM central. So eight, eight o'clock or right before. 7.30. Yeah. Probably. Right, right before uh, Giorgio will be popping in and out all nights live on Zoom. You'll be able to see all of us at the fight, everything that's going on, the celebrities, the fun shit, the cool shit. Because um, that's I'm actually interested to see who's going to pop in. Uh, they're, they're, like look, Shaq lives here. Fucking uh, Pitbull lives here. They they're involved in that bare knuckle fighting thing. So maybe yeah. they, they actually bought part of it. Right? Ticket wise, yeah. behind the scenes, I, I can tell you this. I don't know if he's going to come, but Michael Jordan did make a call. And it was asking, inquiring about tickets. And I was like, come on, man. Are we, are we there yet? I don't know. But the beauty of us and Chuck and everybody else and, and why we like working with it, like mm. we're all just normal people who fucking mm. hang out and drink. Like we're going to have just as much fun at this goddamn thing tonight as everybody else is at home. And that's the the, the beauty of all of this and the joke of it all. Now, if, if Logan wins... Uh, I will tear off my shirt, my clothes, and leave the arena <laughs> buck naked. You might not ever see me again. Yeah, you um, all just jump into the ocean and disappear. Yeah, like yeah. Field of Dream style. He just like backs please, up please into the ocean. Is there a yeah, bet? You're, he, is there a world? Yeah, like what? Like it's, what would you do? Uh, on, in all sincerity, if Logan knocked him out tonight, what would you do? Just run into the ring and knock. Would you Logan shave out? the mohawk? Uh, no, no. <laughs> He's had it since '93, hey, no, motherfucker. What are you talking okay. about? Hey, or '91? Yeah, if he knocked me out, I'd, I'd shave my mohawk. But <laughs> um, no. Uh, Do you want to make a bet with Giorgio for this one? I'm just telling you. Like, I, honestly, like I would be. I mean, it's it was just bad on boxing. That's a different sport. It's not my sport. Sure. If uh, I, here, I've got a bet for you. He 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 went on being a top MMA guy in MMA. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I, then I would definitely, I'd be, I would, it would rock my world. Yeah, yeah, okay. But like, uh, I, I mean, he's not going to do it to Mayweather anyway. But if it unlikely, happens, I, would, I, I don't care. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll make a bet. Li- I'll, no, I'll, I'll make a bet live before this goes live. The bet is, Giorgio, if if Logan wins, you have to take a body shot from Chuck. Deal. Full body shot. Full no. body shot, and then I'll, I'll liver. 14, 14. 14 out. Okay. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no body uh, pad. Nothing. Just straight up. Would you do that? Hell no. Well, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Yet. Fuck that. No. I tell you what Especially I'll do. Especially on the liver. You might if, die. If Logan, <laughs> hey, if, if Logan wins tonight, because this is going to go out live and then we're going to do a recap show tomorrow with, I think Hector Camacho Jr. is going to be on tomorrow. Mm. I will, I will shave a mohawk tonight and, and I will go full Chuck Liddell for this fight. Will you draw? You won't, run, you won't get naked and run out. We're good with that. Well, that too. No, like, he doesn't. Uh, that too. That, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I can't. Chuck, run Chuck, yeah, still not yeah. for Chuck is just trying to keep your clothes on somehow. <laughs> That's all he really cares. Good luck with that. Point. I'll do a mohawk. So on tomorrow's show, I will have a mohawk like Chuck Liddell if Logan knocks him out. So you got to draw on the the goatee. Yes, or I'll, the handlebar. I'll do yeah. the whole fucking thing yeah. tomorrow for tomorrow's show. Okay. Uh, for Chuck Liddell, D'Anthony, D'Anthony Holloway. I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros podcast watch along with us on drinking bro sports tonight good night everyone